This is Witchbase News for Friday the 15th of March 2024. I'm Commander Burr. An elite dangerous news this week. The clock is ticking as the titan Lei Gong comes under direct attack, a brand new exobiology guide has been released and the cloud around Taranis clears enough for commanders to now enter. You know how this bit goes please like, subscribe and ding that little bell so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to directly help our work here at the Burr Pit you can also support us through Patreon. Links to that and everything else are in the description below. As the dust is still settling from the explosion of the titan Taranis two weeks ago ...more on that in a moment ...Frontier kicked off the week with an update on some adjustments they were making to the Thargoid War simulation system and in particular how it plays out in a galaxy where the caustic cauliflowers colossal megaships are being eyeballed by the community as ingredients in a fresh bowl of delicious vegetable soup. The Thargoid war system sends selected star systems into a state of alert as any given Thargoid titan mothership attempts to push its influence further and further outward as part of its ongoing campaign to invade the bubble. In cases where those alert systems are neighbouring the titan itself and therefore very close to the centre of the titans sphere of influence they can be extremely hard to clear in any given weekly cycle. Until this week even if the titan itself was destroyed these systems would still need to be cleared in the usual manner by commanders performing positive actions against the active Thargoid BGS in that system. However following the Thargs Day tick this week Frontier announced that following a titans destruction these alert state systems will now be considered cleared if the titan has exploded before the system can tick over into the next state that state being invasion. This means quite logically that in essence the now dead titan isn't continuing to initiate invasions post mortem and any planned system invasions are deemed to have failed. Systems that are already in a state of invasion and currently flooded with legions of the caustic coleslaw will still contain those now presumably homeless Thargoids and they still require clearing out in the longer term. At the time of recording some such systems can still be found around the remains of the first titan to fall, Taranis. The system surrounding the titan Lei Gong saw the most activity across the community last week by far. At the time of recording the titan has control of just three systems including the system it itself resides in and its defence level in the game is shown as compromised. Once the tick happened on Thursday the assault on the titan Lei Gong itself began in earnest and the hearts have already started to fall. The timing is difficult to predict accurately still but it does seem likely that we'll see another titan explosion at some point this weekend. If you're looking to earn the arcs, decal, ship kit and paint job get at least 2 million credits in combat bonds as soon as you can. You'll find our video guide on getting to and attacking the titans linked on screen now if you haven't seen it. There are still some reported problems with the titan thermal core becoming stuck. The AXI are reporting that they have had significant success in preventing that issue when restricting the task of launching torpedoes at the titans thermal ports to just one individual rather than it being a team effort leaving the attacking of the core itself to the rest of the players in the instance. Your results may vary of course but we do know FDEV are still actively looking at the problem. Regardless it does seem extremely likely that this time next week we'll have 6 titans left threatening the bubble. The creator of the Out There series of Elite Dangerous videos on YouTube and team member of the SPVFA photography and videography group Commander Exorcist has this week published the next in his guides to getting the most out of exploration in Elite Dangerous. The latest addition to the series focuses on an activity that is by far one of the best ways of earning lots and lots of credits in the game that activity being exobiology. 
as well as breaking down the basics of scanning a planet and then finding the most likely places to find what you're looking for following that scan Exorcist also gives some really good tips and tricks gained from his many many hours making the Out There series that will make your exobiology journey significantly smoother. He also covers off some important ship choice considerations and what third party tools you might want to also consider. It's an informative and incredibly useful video for the beginner or experienced alike and it also shows off beautifully just how good the humble dolphin is as a dedicated exobio ship. You'll find Commander Exorcist's excellent exobiology guide linked in the description below this video. The next item in today's news contains some minor spoilers for the new content in the game. If you're sensitive to that stuff stop watching now. In what was I think somewhat of a shock to quite a few commanders this week the caustic cloud around the first destroyed titan Taranis had dissipated to such a degree that accessing the center once again became possible. When Taranis first exploded two weeks ago it left behind a glowing core surrounded by an extremely dense caustic cloud. So dense was the cloud in fact that even when using multiple caustic sink launchers commanders were unable to reach the center where the titan had once resided before the cloud had eaten clean through the hull of their ships. In the immediate aftermath of the explosion Frontier had in fact hinted that the core area and whatever had been left behind would be accessible once the cloud had dissipated and indeed it seems this week that is very much the case. After over a year of occupation what then is left behind in Hyades sector FBN B76? On the way into the system the now familiar Thargoid stop and search mechanism is still in place so you can still expect to be hyperdicted. You can also expect to be interdicted in supercruise once you're in the system so none of that has changed from the pre-explosion state. I'm very pleased to report that the Glaive Hunters have been flushed from Taranis and indeed all the Titan systems certainly as far as hyperdictions and super cruise interdictions are concerned so speed is all you'll need to ensure that you reach the edge of the cloud at least. The caustic cloud is still very much present but its effects have been reduced from anything that we've seen previously. The caustic effect does extend all the way to the center of the cloud however so be sure to bring along as many caustic sinks as you're able if you intend to hang around for a bit. As we reported a couple of weeks back the unlock requirement for the sinks has been removed completely so it's now a trivial matter to load up with them at one of the many rescue megaships dotted around the bubble if you haven't got them already. On your way into the Taranis cloud you'll no longer encounter caustic mines and there is no longer a pushback field because there's no longer a functioning titan to generate it. Likewise the anti-guardian field that had previously permeated the system wearing down and eventually destroying any guardian tainted equipment no longer has a functioning titan to sustain it. If there's room you can also now jump a fleet carrier into the system should you so desire. Once you reach the center of the cloud what awaits you is a classic piece of frontier elite dangerous environment creation. The shattered remnants of the once mighty and frankly terrifying titan Taranis are there waiting for you. In the space surrounding the huge chunks of the titanic mothership you'll find large quantities of titan based materials and caustic commodities both new and old so I'd advise collection limpets and corrosion resistant cargo racks. The chunks of shattered titan themselves have targetable points on their surface which also give out extra items when shot at. Be aware if the instance is empty when you arrive you won't be alone for long as frameshift anomalies soon appear and you'll be joined by all manner of scouts, interceptors and hunters. The Thargoids aren't friendly but they're also not super aggressive either despite the vision of horror that's around them and if you decide not to take them on directly then there's still plenty of cover to use. There are bio storage pods floating around in the debris if your limpets pick those up you'll garner the attention of any wandering scythes specifically. I was able to take in a lumbering great hunk of a T10 covered in caustic sink launchers and enhanced AX multi cannon turrets and have a great time while my limpets went to work gathering anything that wouldn't get me removed from a scythes Christmas list. 
Your results may of course vary. What use the commodities and materials have beyond selling we don't yet know. I am kind of wondering if the new Python Mark II and its yet unannounced special feature isn't perhaps linked somehow to recovered Thargoid technology but that's pure speculation on my part at this point. It seems unlikely to me that the Titan remains are going to disappear from the game anytime soon at the very least. In actual fact Elite Dangerous tends to leave its history liberally scattered in its wake as it ploughs forward for all to visit if they so desire. You'll still find destroyed human vessels and the remains of the Proteus wave device in HIP 22460 for example so there's no particular rush to get to the shattered Taranis but I would recommend it nonetheless if at the very least you fancy a little sightseeing. Are you involved in the attack on the Titan Lei Gong? Are you planning on witnessing your first Titan explosion and will you be raiding the remains of Taranis to gather alien technology? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.